Howdy, it's Jim Arado, and this is July 2021, and we took uh, kind of our annual, sometimes more than once a year, trip to the Sugar Creek, Ohio area once again, and I've put up other videos about this area, and I'm going to put up some more because I really like this area, but uh, today, yeah, we just kind of drove around a little bit. We actually didn't have a whole lot of time right in downtown Sugar Creek, which is a shame because it's a great area and I like to spend a lot of time there. Uh, we, we went down and there's th mostly I just wanted to mention a couple of shops that I just discovered down there. One I knew about before and it's kind of moved. And then the other one is, is a newer shop. But, uh, but yeah, we drove to downtown Sugar Creek, Ohio, home of the world's largest cuckoo clock. And if I, again, I've put up another video of that before. I know I tried to put up a, a, a YouTube video of the world's largest cuckoo clock as it played its music, but it plays the Beer Barrel Polka, which I found out is a copyrighted song, and YouTube did not like uh, like that. I still could have put it up, but it kind of gave me some sort of a warning, so I didn't want to do that. I'm sure there's other videos of it up that you can catch. And speaking of which, we're kind of going past it there on the left. And going down through downtown Sugar Creek. And the, yeah, there, there's all of these little shops through here are unique and different. Uh, you know, I've mentioned before, my mother in law loves Christian fiction and, and Christian books. There's a place called the Gospel Shop that we just passed on the right. And they have a really nice selection of cards and Christian books and things like that. In fact, when we were there last year, I saw a book that I kind of flipped through and was intrigued with. And then after we left, I, um, well, I wanted that book, so we called them and they ended up sending me a copy, which I thought was really nice of them. And just in case you're interested, I, I did put a review of that book on my blog, KentuckyTravels.blogspot.com. The book is called A Faithful Witness by Teresa Flora, and it's... Um, it's kind of a view of the Civil War from a from the perspective of the uh, Brethren, which is Anabaptist, and just just a neat little book. And I'm glad I found it. It's very obscure and hard to find. Uh, I would imagine the Gospel Shop still has copies though. But but yeah, we like that store a lot. Uh, there's the cute little Stein place where they have old Steins. Some antique shops. Lots of cool, just cute little shops and just a cute little town and we always go there when we're in the area sugar creek is is you know more than just this little area i almost think yeah and there's there's the world's largest cuckoo clock on the right there i think sugar creek ohio has kind of become almost a generic you know if you're in berlin or walnut creek you might generically say you're going to sugar creek uh, and you know if you're from outside of ohio i think that might be accurate but you know, kind of like how the Great Smoky Mountains area is sometimes gen generically referred to as Gatlinburg. But yeah, there's there's the clock going off. There's a little crowd watching it, and it's always a cute event every half an hour here in downtown Sugar Creek. There's um, yeah the fire department. Lots of cute little um, paintings, kind of. Uh, Swiss related type paintings and stuff over some of the businesses down here but yeah and this yeah this is right out front of um, it's a shop that used to be across the street and I know they used to be called finders keepers I think they might have changed their name in the move though I'm not really sure to be honest with you but it's a cute little store and they've it's a fun place just to go and look around at and I, I like what they're doing here. It's kind of small. I know the guy that runs it, Big Mike, was telling me that he uh, has quite a bit of inventory and doesn't really have the room for it in the small shop they have now. Obviously, they've got some cool museum pieces here, but they've also got, you know, Hot Wheels and some, you know, old Kiss dolls, things like that. Um, I noticed he had several of the old vintage talking Pee Wee Herman dolls that I thought was pretty cool. He also sold some uh, really cute little magnets uh, of the world's largest cuckoo clock and the Welcome to Sugar Creek sign, which are both cute. I picked up a couple of those. And just just a cute little shop. And he, I, yeah, I think he was talking about trying to find a bigger shop than what he has now. 
and I hope he does. But this is, yeah, if you're in Sugar Creek, this is just a neat little shop to stop in and look around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I love looking at old cans and old, um, yeah, just old ephemera uh, things, things along those lines, old toys. And this, this was just a neat little shop. We reminisced a little bit about. Um, um, Big fun that used to be in Cleveland, and this is Hangar 81. It's uh, over by, uh, actually, kind of close to the Gospel Shop. It's in the same location. When I was here about a year or so ago, it was it was kind of an antique mall kind of place, and they've they've got yeah just cool old toys. And there's kind of a museum in the back, kind of a horror movie Halloween type. Just just a weird museum, and there was no charge. There was a little donation bucket if you wanted to give a donation, but it was just really cute, and I was really impressed. And, and uh, this place doesn't really compete with the uh, Finder's Keepers place. In fact, Big Mike at Finder's Keepers told me about this place and told me to make sure I went and visited it before we left town. And we were actually meeting some family for dinner, and I only had just a few minutes to poke my head in here. But apparently the guy that runs it used to be in a band called the Hypnotics. And he's got a little display in the back. I would have loved to have talked to him more about this. Uh, I believe they were kind of a local Akron band, if, if I understood correctly. And I spent some time in Akron, and I have a good friend who was in old uh, punk bands in Akron going back to the 70s and even to this day he uh, plays folk music that's the front of the store uh, just lots to offer so a couple of cute little shops